uh, it's a very creative project right there. I think that's a very um, like the spirit of the music. Oh yeah, I mean project. <laughs> I mean, I really want to see like you know people doing like different mm-hmm. shows. Like you, you wouldn't see regularly not a band playing songs or you know they might have cool visuals sometimes or you know a little dance here and there. But then yet yeah, they're always gonna end up being the same thing. Like yet yeah, last night yeah, we went to right. a really great, great show. show. Um, my I mean like our buddy Vartan he uh he got this visual this Japanese movie made by a French guy actually a French guy made this movie in Japan. Let me just put it th- more clearly. And he uses vi- visual with a four song, and he mixed four songs within it. I mean, the first was a Greek song, the second was a Armenian song, the other one was a Gypsy song, and the other one was a, from uh, from the movie Amelie. And what he did it was he played drums to these songs live, so it basically remixed the whole percussive part of these recordings, which sounds like a really weird idea, but he pulled it off. <laughs> he pulled it off, and it was great. It was probably like the highlight of my evening, and. I know. Actually, it was the highlight of my evening. Yeah, a one-man show <coughs> just playing with a know, small little drum set. Yeah, you didn't even have like a full set, just like a three-piece with like a high and ride. And he had like a, a really great like movie playing behind him and just playing all these like oh, Greek man. like yeah, the, I mean, like, like the first song was a Greek great. song. The other one was our main song, Savani uh, Tsagnosi Bar by Jan Belizikcan. The other one was a, a Romani Gypsy song. I, I believe it was from Turkey. I think it was. And the other one was, yeah, like I said, from Amelie, a French song. Yeah. But it was just bomb. Like, I, when you see that live, like, after seeing so many local bands, like, play that's just, like, a band. good treat. Like, you know, oh, wow, thank God someone's doing something different. So, yeah. <laughs> I really, man, it was just, I really enjoyed it. Very cool. Uh, very cool. That sounds like a... Very different. Something very, yeah, very different. Yeah. You missed that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have come last I wish time. I was there. <laughs> I was uh, asleep, <laughs> like most of the people take writing papers right now <laughs> taking midterms but um yeah next time uh definitely looking forward to to your show on uh march 6th and then after that the sticky F- spider show <laughs> as well uh, <laughs> looks like a uh, very good projects coming up for for you guys regardless yeah. of uh any foot surgery or <laughs> turkey or anything like right. that you, you, know, you always have your other foot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know about that one, man. Hey. You can just, like, not use a hi-hat. No, no it, not use a bass drum. Or not use a <laughs> bass drum. Yeah. Even, even though I don't care too much for a Def Leppard, but, hey, the drummer has a one arm, and he plays, like, pretty, pretty good. Yeah, like, he's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah. He uses both his feet and his other hand. Yeah. You could do that, Monica. The, the songs will be different, but, yeah, I could. Well, I mean, yeah. you can play percussion. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Well, I mean, for a sneaky spider show in the meantime, well, between Valley Circle shows. <laughs> you can bang on... On some stuff. On a bass drum with your sticks. I can, actually. Velvet Underground's drummer b- used to do that. Uh, oh, really? She turned her... She had a very small kit. She she turned the bass drum around uh-huh. and just... Boom. Would, yeah, would just hit it with her stick. With, with sticks? Her, yeah, with the stick. Wow. And it was Not even weird. padded? I don't believe so. Oh, man. I, I, re- I mean, I don't remember. I just saw the video maybe six years ago. <laughs> but I never forgot it. Play some. Uh, we'll play some Velvet Underground in honor of that. <laughs> I think. <laughs> but I uh, think. Well, damn. What was it? Off the first album with Ni- with Nico. With uh, Velvet Underground and Nico. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. Then there's yeah. One, th- there's one other. Like, have you heard the Gift? That was on. White light. White white heat white, heat, white yeah. light. Yeah. Uh, that one's. Uh, I was actually a short story. Yeah, I know. That the uh, the basis wrote. The bass player in violin, yeah, John yeah. John Kill. Yeah, he wrote a short story. He just read it, and then uh, it's pretty gruesome <laughs> by the end of it. You it's know, really gruesome. But uh, uh, that's that's that CD <coughs> actually. Uh, uh, speaking of white heat, white white light, there was a uh, sister sister Ray on it. Shit. Or uh, can you hear me? Hello. Alright, can you guys hear out of your left side? Yeah. Uh, I, I can. I think I hit a wire. You guys messing up our station. Hey, yeah. Monica, <laughs> I hit a wire. While we fix up I our I technical I difficulties, we can fix it. While we work on some technical difficulties here, we're going to play some more music for you guys. We're going to play some Diamond Head. Um, wake you up a little bit, you know, a little bit of a refresher so with some NWOBHM. Um, we're going to play some, uh, uh, which is the new wave of British heavy metal. For those of you guys who have been listening to our show throughout the quarter, 
Uh, we've been talking a little bit about uh, British heavy metal, especially early British heavy metal. Diamond Head was one of the forerunners of that. And um, they were from the Canterbury scene, which was also a big influence on prog rock. And uh, here's a song by them called uh, Shoot Out the Lights. It's pretty fun, pretty energetic. So that'll wake you guys up. That's not it, but <laughs> also pretty energetic. Caught me by surprise. Uh, we're going to play uh, Shoot Out the Lights by uh, Diamond Head and then uh, come back with more Valley Circle on UCLRadio.com. Listening to uh, Metal Slug and the Jimmy Owen Popper. And we're back with Valley Circle. I'm DJ Unabomber, filling in for uh, DJ Alley and World Trippin' today. Um, she couldn't make it. She's uh, out at a conference. Good luck to you on your conference, Alley. We're with you in spirit. But uh, I'm going to be taking over her show. You'll play, be playing some international music. But since I don't really listen to a lot of international music, I'm going to do a little bit of my own take to it uh, play some of what I want and then throw in a couple of uh, international songs for for Ali as well I'm joined with uh, my special guest Valley Circle hello guys hello what's up <laughs> you guys are a little distracted yeah <laughs> sorry about that it's all good we were talking a little bit about uh, your music your upcoming show which is on March 6th at the Troubadour CD release project Talking about your music and Sticky Spider projects, which is like an improv band and everything. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah. Looking cool. forward to that. Um, so, <laughs> <Yeah. Ask us laughs> <anything>. <laughs> so we're talking a little bit about um, Kings of Leon. Oh, uh, really? We were talking. You know? <laughs> no, I, I, I think that was last night. Yeah, I was talking, talking about. Last night, like, King, uh, Kings of Land. You seem to have a little bit of beef with them, Rafi. No, I don't have beef with. What are you doing, like, about, accusing me? <laughs> about them winning a Grammy. Well, um. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not like they're oh, the worst band, but wow, like, did they really have to get record of the year? Like, they were way better artists. I mean, it's just like, they don't deserve It's like, to get such an honor, and they're just very average. <laughs> <laughs> very average. Yeah. How about. I would agree. I mean, but... I think everybody agrees. Uh, yeah. Uh, like Kings of Leon fans would probably be very surprised. They're probably surprised themselves. <laughs> I, I'm guessing Kings of... I didn't watch the Grammys, Grammys this year. I, I sort of boycotted uh, them after last uh, year's debacle. Uh, they, I, I just waited and saw the winner's list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I watched yeah. Latin American Music Awards best, but last night... How like, was that? Uh, <laughs> I was at my aunt's house. <laughs> uh, it was actually pretty interesting. It was in Miami, or, and uh, I don't know. Cheyenne, I don't know if you know who he is. No, I didn't. Or my aunt's like, uh, I mean, obsessed with him. So, <laughs> whatever. Some random singers. But it was kind of interesting. They were very classy. I don't know. Everyone w- I mean, all the women were really skinny. Skinnier than I've seen in the Oscars. Wow. wow. I don't know anything about Latin American music. All I know is like, a couple bands like Kinky and... Uh, or Juanes. Pl- Juanes <laughs> or something. Platina Mosh. Uh, yeah. Ricky Iglesias. <laughs> Actually, I know. They know more. Jennifer Lopez. At- um, Ricky Martin. At- Ricky Martin. <laughs> You should win every year. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think I think Kings of Leon winning is sort of like a, a money move. If you ask me, get more. They must have paid a lot of money. <laughs> get some more. They, no, it gets like a bigger audience. Like you know how like Robert Plant wins last year. All the old people go crazy. Watch it this year, and then the young guys win it. Yeah, and also um, like you know every not like category like it was like the same five people over and over Green Beyonce Day, Beyonce and Taylor Swift Ta- Taylor Swift Ugh. I know there's a lot of Taylor Swift fans but I, I, <laughs> it's just like I don't think they're listening it's like we could, <laughs> <laughs> all right that's good seriously we could do a lot better like sorry I gotta interrupt you uh, I'll let you finish but Beyonce had one of the greatest videos of the year hey <laughs> which one which one oh yeah <laughs> so Bad timing. <laughs> it's too old. You, too are, you gonna, old. are you gonna let me finish? <laughs> <laughs> now you can finish. It's all you. <laughs> Man, that was very well. Like, you're well quick. done. You're quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done, chap. Well done. It's okay. You'll have a chance to redeem. I didn't even comprehend later. that until like a couple <laughs> seconds later. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, we're going to play some prog for you right now because I'm feeling kind of proggy and I have 